In this episode of HBCN Weekly, we talk about auto collisions, upcoming donation, ROTC's canned food drive, and students' favorite conspiracy theories. We actually take in uh, customer vehicles from the community, from faculty members, different things like that. You know, we, we normally accept, accept donations for, for the students working on the vehicles and uh, we also receive uh, donations from different sponsors as well. And we can uh, provide more vans and more, uh, more help to those families. Can't wait to meet the family, uh, to see the joy on their face that this car is going to bring them. This van, they definitely need it something we work on, we put so much passion into, can actually bring someone so much joy, and they need this. I'm helping out a family in need and changing the community one step at a time, and hopefully that younger people sees what I'm doing, or sees what we're doing to help out a family, and hopefully they'll do the same in their community too. I actually witnessed a van uh, being given away, and I just noticed the impact that it had on the family, on the community, on everybody that was involved, because this actually began through the through actual body shops, you know, it had never been done by a school, especially in Texas. So, you know, I, I was really interested in in the program, and we were able to become a member of it. It just gives me a sense of hope that you can help people can help each other more, and just it's just hope basically. You can help out more people, um, people that don't have that much. It gives them hope to keep trying. That there are people out there not to alone. We baby can, and uh, they they reached out to me or they contacted me about a month and a half ago. Um, and you know they told me about Mr. Gutierrez and his students and what they do and um, if I would be interested in receiving a van and I just broke down crying <laughs> um, and so like I said I, I really I really feel blessed that um, I was even chosen for this. This week ROTC has been helping families on campus for Thanksgiving by participating in a canned food drive. Each year at Holmes High School our ROTC group hosts a food can drive for families that are in need. How many cans have y'all raised? Our goal was 600, so we definitely surpassed that goal in uh, over a week. So, How does it feel to know that you're helping all these families? I think it's a great way for... I guess it makes me feel good because I know people are suffering. I've been in that position before. During Thanksgiving holidays, who don't have any food, nothing basically. So it's just a, it's a, a community helping experiment for a lot of people. Um, it's, it's a great way for people to get along and uh, provide for their community. It just like puts a little like sparkle thing in my heart. <laughs> for everyone who has participated in this year's food camp drive, and if you haven't this year, make sure to do it next year. Conspiracy theories. The belief that an influential organization is responsible for a certain event or circumstance. We asked students on campus what their favorite conspiracy theory is. I, my conspiracy theory is that we don't necessarily come from a god. We come from aliens. And you know, aliens created us, therefore like, that's why they come and visit us, because we're, we're their creation, you know what I mean? Well, that the government um, like set up his John F. Kennedy to be killed, and he was killed by them, and it was just all a setup. The, like, I can go. Oswald was a person who killed him, but really, no, he was hired by someone from the government. That's why he was killed the next day when he was going to go on trial. And a conspiracy theory that I believe is the chemical trails in the sky. So when you see uh, like a rocket spray, like that cloud in the sky, people think it's like they're just like like runoff or like just gas, extra gas. But supposedly the government sprays like gas in the sky to control the citizens of uh, like down on the ground. So it controls. It just controls like, the minds of citizens. That aliens do exist because, you know, you always see them in the sky and you see flashing lights, like the one in Los Angeles that people say like, like, oh look, there's an alien, like, but the government is saying like, oh no, it's just like a rocket or like something that, um, that, you know, the army did just to like fool us and say like aliens don't exist or aliens 
they're just they're just hiding it from us. I would have to say my favorite conspiracy theory would be the Mandela effect, which is where a lot of people remember something the same way, but when they look back at it, it's not what it used to be. Like Kit Kat, a lot of people remember Kit Kat with a dash in between Kit and Kat, but there's nothing there. It's just space. And uh, we believe in the Mandela effect. Okay. Um, it's basically like when the government changes like little things, like in Chick Fil A, how it doesn't have a K anymore, and like Kit Kat <laughs> doesn't have the little dash in between it. And yeah, that's it. Oh, and aliens. We believe we like aliens too. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay.